Today I'm going to reveal what I believe is the best loadout for Zero Build in Chapter 5 Season 4. And if you're not running this loadout, make sure you watch the whole video to find out why you should be and how we'll almost guarantee you a victory royale. Let's get into it. Alright, obviously the most important item of the season is the jetpack. In Zero Build, you need mobility and no other mobility item beats the jetpack. Sure, shockwaves are great, but you either gotta buy them or find them and they don't really spawn all that often. Black Panther Claws are okay for mobility at the start of the game, but they're just not as good as the jetpack. They're not as reliable. And in general, overall, when you have to fight somebody with a jetpack, the only counter to the jetpack is a jetpack. You need one. It's the best option. It, it's really the only option. The second must-have item in my loadout, I gotta have a shotgun, and the only one for me is a gatekeeper shotgun. The Sovereign Shotty is preferred by many players, especially if they play on controller, but the hit fire damage is very inconsistent and unreliable compared to any gatekeeper. I almost always try to get my gatekeeper on a mod bench so I could attach a drum magazine at the very least, because at any rarity, even at a gray rarity, a five-shot gatekeeper is just so hard to beat. Next up, we have probably the most underrated weapon in our whole loot pool, the secretly OP Ranger Pistol. The pistol's actually been great the entire chapter, but this season it's definitely starting to shine a little bit more. It's not great for long range, but it's still better than any of the assault rifles, especially if you got the right attachments on it. Like it can literally be the most versatile weapon in your entire loadout. It does decent damage, it has a very quick reload, it's got low recoil and a very small amount of bloom. It has very little bullet drop, which is huge in our projectile based meta, which makes it the closest you can get to a hitscan feeling weapon out of all the other guns. When it comes to close range, it's a quick gun to switch to. The hip fire is really, really good. It's just such a good secondary weapon. To guarantee the success I have with the pistol, I always bring it to a mod bench. I like to throw a scope on there, which I prefer the red dot sight. I put a drum mag on there to give me a little bit more ammo. I also like to have the laser on there to help with the hip fire and the muzzle brake to help with that tiny amount of recoil that the pistol does actually have. All right, the next thing in the loadout is heals. Preferably some type of shield. My go-tos are the Flowberry Fizz, Big Pots, or Splashes if I can get a stack of four or more. But if I end up acquiring Doom's Siphon Medallion, I might instead just carry an additional mobility item or EMPs. Especially if a lot of players seem to be using vehicles in the endgame, EMPs are pretty good to have. And finally, the item that has saved my ass in more fights than I'd like to admit, War Machine's Auto Turret. Yes, this thing does very little damage, but in my experience, this thing just seems to stress other players out. It makes people think that they're taking a ton of damage even though they're not, which can make them panic and it just gives me the upper hand. Until I find one of these, I might carry like a striker or combat assault rifle, but the turret takes so much pressure out of fights that honestly my loadout isn't complete until I find one. There you have it, that is the absolute best loadout to run in Zero Build this season. Give it a try and let me know if it works well for you. Thanks for watching.